Here's how I can make colorful pixelated effect here in Photoshop. I'm going to go with this size as a reference. And I also recommend you to use this size because some of the effects are going to work only on this size. Now let's go to the layer with the image, right click on it, convert a smart object, and we're going to go to the filter. Let's go to pixelate and select mosaic. For the cell size, I'm going to go with 20 squares, click OK. And in order to make that colorful pixelation effect, we're going to go to the adjustments, scroll down, and here we can find the posterize. Click on it. And as you can see, we got some colorful pixelation going on, but we're going to need to reduce this. So we're going to go to the levels and decrease it all the way down to two. So now we are left with two main colors, the red and the yellow. And based on that, we'll get the black and the white. You also can customize the contrast of this. So let's select the layer with the model. Let's go to the adjustments, scroll up and select the curves. And here you can customize the curves and check this out. It is going to mix up the pixels. And now the model is going to look more clear. Now right now, as you can see, these are going to be the default colors, but I don't like them, so I want to customize it as well. So I'm going to go and click on the top layer, and let's go to the adjustments, and let's search for the selective color. Click on it, and with this specific filter, we can customize every each color separately. So for example, I'm going to go to the colors, I'm going to go to red, and here we can switch these, but as you can see right now, it's not doing anything, because we're going to need to go here to the relative and change it to absolute. And now you can switch these and check this out. Let me pull the magenta and it's going to recolor it. Actually, I kind of like this. So you can play around with the handles until you find the right match. And after that, I can go to the colors again and select the yellows. And now I'm going to change up the yellow. The green is also really interesting, but I should swap these colors up. All right, so not but least, I went with these two colors. They look pretty nice. And I'm going to go to the colors again. Let's select the white and change it up. And I'm gonna make it yellow, I think. Yeah. Now check this out. I also want to make the model's face inside instead of yellow. I want to make it white. So what I'm gonna do is select the model, press and hold shift and go all the way to the posterize layer. Let's select all these three layers, press control J to duplicate them and bring it on the top of every each layer. Let's right click on these three layers, convert a smart object. And now we're gonna go to the select color range and we're going to again click on this white area here. So it's going to select the white color, click OK. And I also going to go to the selection tool and click on the minus. And I'm going to go and click on this white area because I don't want to be selected. I also going to need to deselect the left area. But as you can see, these pixels are disconnected and the white color is going inside to this area. But anyways, I just going to click on it, deselect and check this out. It will stop here, which is great. And from here, all I need to do is go to the mask, click on the mask and check this out. It did the job perfectly. Now, but least we're going to need to add grids that are going to highlight the pixels. So we're going to go to the file, click on new. And let's go to the width. I'm going to make it 15 and the height is going to be 15 as well. And click OK. Now you can see we got a little square here. Zoom in all the way. And let's go and unlock the layer. I decrease the fill to zero. And we're going to again double click on the layer. And let's go to the stroke, make sure the size is on one, the position is inside, and the color is black. Click OK. And let's add inner shadow as well. Now the color is going to be white, the opacity is going to be 100%. And I'm going to arrange the angle somewhere here. So I'm going to go like 65, for example. So make sure that the top line is white and also the right side is white. The distance has to be like three, choker 100, size zero. Click OK. So it should look something like this. Now we're going to go to the edit and let's go and select a define pattern. You can rename it, click OK. Now let's go back to the composition. Let's go down here and add pattern. We're going to change up the pattern here. And here you can select the new pattern that you created. Click on it. Let's go to the scale and I'm going to type in 133. Click OK. And I'm going to zoom in and just arrange it so it's going to match perfectly. I'm also going to go to the opacity and decrease it. I'm going to go with like 60. And this is how I make colorful pixelated effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.